Photography in the woods is tricky, and that is especially true for people just starting out with photography. With this video I will share a few tips that will help you to get better forest photos. When starting with landscape photography people often think they need to use a wide angle lens to get those awesome shots. And to some degree that is true. I mean I capture most of my landscape photos in the 16 to 24 mm range. However, things change when you are taking pictures in the forest. Here it is much much harder to get a good composition using a wide angle lens. That is because forest landscapes tend to be rather chaotic with trees, plants and stuff everywhere. All those lines and shapes make it hard for the eye to focus on the subject. A wide angle lens fills the frame with even more of those distracting things. But there's an easy fix, just zoom in a little bit, focus on the details. And keep in mind, the forest floor is the most chaotic part. You do not always have to include this in your photos. For a pleasing composition, leading lines are tremendously helpful. As the name suggests, they lead the eye through the image to the subject. Finding them in the forest, however, can be exhausting. At times, I've been wandering through the woods for hours without finding what I was looking for. An easy solution here is to just look out for roads or creeks. They will greatly improve the photo. In the autumn season, when the colors change, not only does this look cool, but you can use that to your advantage. For example, try to separate colors from the background. That could be a single tree branch or a whole colorful tree against a dark background. Again, zooming in will help you a lot in this case. Of course, you should also pay close attention to the weather. Forests generally look better when everything is a little wet. A wet landscape plus a polarization filter on your lens will result in lovely, vibrant colors. Besides this, my favorite time to go explore the woods is when it's really foggy outside. The fog gives the woods a haunted feeling and creates magical light. Fog will also produce light rays, which are by far my favorite subject in the forest. The most important factor here is to be at the right altitude. Too low and you end up in a thick fog with no light coming through. Too high and there will be no fog at all. You want to be just at the right level. I hope those tips will help you to improve your forest photography. As always, if you have any questions, then please let me know in the comments. And thank you very much for watching this video.